Hello there folks and welcome to the week one sessions. Let's kick off week one on a high note. Uh, by now, with week zero, you should have gotten an idea about how this course works, how the flip model works, and you must have understood the importance of the homework, uh, the, you know, the theory and the concept that you go through um, you know, during the week's time and uh, then we come back here and do the classroom sessions, right? So unless you're through with the homework part of it, unless you are aware of those concepts, you will not be able to do much during the classroom training. So if you want to get maximum out of this training, you must, you know, go through the homework completely. And in order to help you uh, be focused, we have also created an LMS portal which emphasizes on uh, learning, um, you know, uh, structured learning rather. And we're going to give you the, you know, the proper section, uh, the grading. We have added a graded grading policy, which I, which you will get a video about uh, shortly, right? Now, let's talking about the homework for this week. We are going to get started with Ansible. And um, Ansible course is something that you should have already access to. It's the ultimate Ansible bootcamp. And here is what you are going to do as part of this week's homework. So you should get started with Ansible's introductory sessions. You should go through, the, those are mostly the theory and the concepts related to what Ansible is, why Ansible, what is infrastructure as a code, and what are the advantages of Ansible, etc., etc. Those are the core concepts. Uh, then I also talk about, I have another section where I, uh, which I name as, you know, path to automation with Ansible. Again, we cover a little bit of theory about what are the primitives that Ansible gives you in order to start automating your infrastructure tasks. It includes playbooks, roles, uh, you know, the modules and, uh, you know, how do we inventories and how do we go about writing code with Ansible uh, by taking an example stack. So you should definitely be aware of those things and then you should set up the environment with Ansible. You have already created the Google account, most of you, or you may have a local uh, Docker installations. If you have a Docker installation, uh, either locally or on Google Cloud uh, account, you could use our in-house tool called as Codespaces. Now, Codespaces is what we typically use for our training and it will help you to set up a multi-node. It's like a five node plus one controller, so six node cluster running on one single VM. That's quite amazing. And that will also have Ansible installed. So that will get you started quickly with the setup part of uh, Ansible tray course. So if you want to get started with Ansible quickest way, um, you may want to use code spaces. I am giving you the links, you know, along with this video uh, to help you start with code spaces and point you to the code spaces. Uh, I have listed down the sections that you are going to prepare uh, this week, as well as I've given you a link to the lab guide. So that's the lab guide uh, you should go through. So you, the way you use that course is you watch the videos, initially it's just theory part. Once you set up the environment from there onwards, you also follow through the labs. So you watch the video demonstration, understand the concepts, and you try to do it yourself in your environment that you have set up. Uh, and that's how we proceed. So you will have the lab guide, you will have access to the videos, and you have an access or information about setting up the environment. Now, if you have trouble with any of these, uh, feel free to post it on Gitter. Somebody will get back to you. Uh, hopefully make sure you have done your homework and make sure you have put in some efforts before you ask questions also So when you come with the questions, you should definitely tell us what you have done so far uh, Where you're struggling in order for us to help you uh, in the quickest way, right? So that's your homework part uh, and then when you come back here, we are going to do the uh, a mini project That's uh, where we you will write some code upload playbook for uh, one of the applications related to our example app, you know, application stack, that is uh, the, that's the one we have started dockerizing last, uh, in the week zero really. Um, and uh, while you're doing the homework, once you go through the videos, do those exercises uh, or the labs, you should also do the nano projects before you come in for the class. Because nano projects, uh, I have already given you a couple of projects uh, description in the LMS section. Um, you should have an access to LMS, that's where this video is posted as well. Uh, so if you go and look at the nano projects, we also have set up a deadline. Now this is to help you stay focused, stay on track. So you have to submit the nano projects, the description of the code basically, uh, the, either the playbook or a link to the GitHub repository where your code is. And that will also get evaluated by the staff, uh, by our staff, and you will receive the grades. All of these grades, 
which will contribute to your final you know uh, you know exam and the certification um, and we also have categories of uh, you know uh, grades that we're gonna have like a grade a grade b grade c again i'm gonna explain this in another video for the grading uh, so keep an eye and look out on that as well and uh, make sure you're prepared with your homework make sure you finish and submit the nano projects by friday you must do that uh, after friday you will not have access to submit those projects you will not receive the grades for it so make sure you submit it in time possibly by thursday um, because friday is like i think friday around the five o'clock we'll close the uh, submission uh, that's a deadline for you to submit that once you come back here next week we will start with the quiz so make sure you prepared with all these topics because unless you know about these topics you will not going going to go make make through make it through uh, the quiz as well right and that quiz again will count towards your grades so you will see your progress on the lms as well so if you log into this lms uh, one is you will see all these sections where we have the outline uh, you will also see you know um, you know uh, the progress bar where you will see your grades and how it counts towards your final uh, percentage and the performance in this uh, program now we are doing all of this in order for you to get maximum out of it stay focused and also see the progress um, you know based on the number of hours of efforts that you put in the more your efforts put in the better you're going to get out of this program again this is an intensive program um, so next two months you need to be focused uh, make sure you put in as much as possible because we also move fast uh, you might have realized that we already sort of uh, are done with the docker initial part and we have moved to ansible uh, in another week's time probably next two weeks we focus on ansible and then we immediately move to the ci part then we're going to move to the cloud then we move to the kubernetes so we move really fast and we have a lot of grounds to cover so make sure you stay focused um, and if you need any help if you have any feedback feel free to get in touch with us uh, me or abhijit uh, and i'm going to see you in the next um, next 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 week's session uh, that is on the next saturday so make sure you go through the homework complete your you know nano projects be prepared for the quiz you may also want to refer to the additional content which is available on internet or uh, you know on youtube and so on uh, so that you get a depth of the topics that we are talking about so the topics that you cover are you go through the introduction you uh, you know you look at the you know path to automation you set up the environment then you once you set up the environment you start with the ad hoc server management you will write the playbooks and you will also create the roles so those are the topics that you should be prepared with uh, i'm going to see you next week all the best with the week 1's homework